And we're back and this time I'm going to talk about position in logo design. Let us have a look at a couple of examples. We can create an easy effect. Here we've got our regular text. I'll just name it company and I've used the default font. I want to keep these elements as unspectacular as possible to show you what the effect on position itself can do to a logo design. And below it you can find a very chaotic positioning. And that rarely works. If you want to reposition letters, you should have a reason for it. And you should do it sparingly. In this case, the name company itself doesn't provide such a good opportunity, but it still looks better to just reposition the first two letters. And the way to do it is to simply have the text, then right click, create outlines. And afterwards, you need to ungroup it. If you can't find the ungroup button, just go to object and there it is. Now you can select two of these letters individually. And if you use the arrow keys, you've got your easy repositioning effect. And as I've said, you need a good reason for that. For example, you can see it right here. If we don't use company, but my company, it makes sense to reposition the first two letters. And if you add, for example, a different color to it, for the my or the company, the effect would even be stronger. Once again, it's the same process. Right click, create outlines. Then you need to go to ungroup. Select the first two letters, use the arrow keys. And you've got it done. As I've said, you can add a different color, for example, like this. And you've got a logo design that brings you to good ideas. Let us check another effect. You can just use a different positioning effect by making these letters bigger or by making the company letters smaller. You could also add the repositioning effect with your arrow keys, no problem with that. How can you do that? You can create outlines and then transform it, but the easiest way to do it, it's a text, so you use the type tool, press T for that, select the first two, increase the size, something like that. As you can see, it has the same baseline, so if you want to Put it to the center like I did here in this example. You need to once again create the outlines now. Ungroup it. Use the arrow keys. And if you've got your smart guides activated under view, make sure you've got snap to point as well activated. And if you now drag it up and down, you can see how the smart guides, they indicate when you've reached this center line, so that should lead you to more logo design examples and ideas. Let's check another example. Here it's the same effect, but it's a different size for every letter. That could work for many logo designs as well. The way to do it, you can once again use the create outlines directly, but I like to use the type tool first. Let me add five points to the type for every group of letters until we've reached the final one. So once again, it's now with the same baseline. If you want to center it, let me drag a copy out of it, holding Alt using the Move tool. We need to right-click Create Outlines. Object ungroup and now hold shift when you drag these individual letters. It helps with the positioning and the smart guides they indicate when you've reached the center line. And this is how you can create this logo design effect. A very common effect is to just make one letter bigger. 
That works well when you've got an odd number of letters in the logo or the company name. So if you use a word mark, for example company, you've got the P letter in the center, it would work. But the best opportunity is to use that effect is when you've got a letter that is symmetrical. For example an O or here an A. So left and right side have the same shapes, not with the P letter here. One of the most prominent examples is this German brand called Braun. Way to do it, once again, type tool, make the A letter bigger, something like this. Right click, create outlines. We need to ungroup it and then pull down the center element. So the center letter while holding shift. The final example for positioning is like, you could call it a camel shape. So it creates these waves for the eyes. And that works once again when you've got an odd number. So that way the first and the last letters, they have the same horizontal baseline. And it's perfect when you've got a name that repeats or, or reflects itself. I've just used a fantasy name here, but use and ends. If you've got them in a word mark, you can try this effect and it creates almost perfect results. The way to do it is quite simple. Right click create outlines once more. Ungroup it. Then click on every second letter while holding shift and use the arrow keys downwards. There you go. It's that easy. So these are just some ideas on how to create positioning effects and using a little bit of size effects to create these positions. You can use them on every word mark and even on some letter marks to create new logo design ideas. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.